Hey there, what's going on everyone? Vitam Vest Friskich Lost X Commando here and welcome back to a Medal of Honor Limited Edition gameplay commentary. Now, uh, I've talked about getting this game for a while now. Um, really quickly actually before I get into talking about what I want to talk about this game. Um, I, uh, this is what, today is Saturday. I'm actually supposed to be in wor at work right now, not in work, at work right now, but... I got a day off, luckily, because today is my school's homecoming, and I'm um, going with Keller, so it's going to be a great time. We're going out to dinner around like 4 o'clock or something like that, and then uh, and then we have homecoming at like 6 or 7, something? I don't know, something like that, and I get knifed right here, knife in the face, but um, okay, so um, anyway, this right here, the gameplay that you're watching is Medal of Honor Limited Edition. Now this game, um, if you go to GameStop to purchase this game, it is exactly $9.99, $8.99 if you have a pre-order card, um, a, um, a power-ups card. And I know because I'm looking at the case right now, um, <clears throat> and it still has a tag on it, and that's pre-owned too. So, I went and got that game, I got Forza Motorsport 4, and I got UFC Undisputed. Um, I know they're all pretty old games, but I just kind of like going back to the old stuff, playing it, because it's a lot of fun, you know? And, um, I don't really necessarily have to post the games for you guys if you don't want to see them, but I personally like playing them myself. Now, this game here, I, back when I had this game, because I've had this game whenever it first came out, like, whenever this game first, first came out, I got it, and I was in love with this game. I would play this game 24-7, like... This was, it never left my Xbox. From the day I got it, no Call of Duties entered my Xbox, nothing. It was this game only. So, I fell in love with this game, and then eventually, I think it was around, uh, I think it was actually around Black Ops, if I am correct. It might have been Black Ops. I think it was Black Ops. I, uh, I was kind of a little late on my paying off my Black Ops pre-order. So the day of the Black Ops release, I had to take some games to GameStop, trade them in so I, I could actually pay off Black Ops. And uh, this was one of the games, and uh, Call of Duty World at War was one of the games. I know I already got that game back because I, I was playing that a couple days ago. And all of that other stuff. So um, I had a couple more games to go with it that I traded in to actually make up for Black Ops. And then I got this game again because I was just, I, I love this game guys, honestly. Probably one of my favorite games, if not my favorite game. Um, I, if you guys want, I will probably just post gameplays of this now. Um, now, obviously, I don't want to do things like as like the executive decision kind of guy. I want you guys to uh, to influence my decision. If you guys want to see just this, awesome. Post that in the comments. If you guys um, want to see something else and not this at all. Post that in the comments. If you guys want me to balance it out, have some of this, some of Call of Duty, some of whatever, put that in the comments, please. Because the more you guys help me, the better it's going to be for you guys. So, anyway, let me just give you a real quick look. look this guy's this guy glitches over here in the wall, and I still think he's alive. And it's <laughs> I shoot at him like four other times later. Um, so, anyway, I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> but... So anyway, and back to this game. Now, games other than Call of Duty. Call of Duty, I think, is so popular because it has all of the advertising around it. Um, and honestly, to be completely truthfully honest with you guys, I don't think it's that great of a game. Call, I mean, Call of Duty is awesome. Don't get me wrong, I love Call of Duty. Call of Duty is definitely one of my favorite games, but there's so many games that are just so much better than it. Like, for example, this game here. Battlefield 3. Forza Motorsport is awesome. I love playing that game, too. Um, what else was there? GoldenEye Reloaded. That's a great game. Um, The Witcher 2. Assassins of Kings. Enhanced Edition. I mean, those are just games that, that you can just have fun playing all the time. And it's not, like, competitive. I mean, this can be competitive, I guess. But, it's it's got that fun feel to it you know that like awesome makes you feel good about yourself like you can play it it's competitive but it's also not like rage quitting you know 
You're not going to rage quit over a game like this. And that's what I like about games that, other than Call of Duty, they're not exactly... They're not exactly that style, and I think that's a lot of great variety out there that you can play. And, I mean, this game is just, it, it tops pretty much every game that I've played from, uh, from a long, long time. So, I mean, back, back when, uh, Call of Duty wasn't really popular, whenever there was the Grand Theft Autos. Grand Theft Auto was really popular back in the, like, PlayStation 2 days. And I played Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, and even more, I think it was Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Those games, just everyone played. Everyone played Grand Theft Auto. And now, Grand Theft Auto has kind of died down with the Grand Theft Auto 4. I don't think too many people really like that. They tried to add too many things. They tried to change too many things with it. And I'm afraid that's kind of what's going to happen with Call of Duty. I mean, don't get me wrong. All the things that they're doing with Black Ops 2, like the Pick 10 system... Um, it has really changed, like, voting for maps has been added in ever since, I think, what, uh, World of War, um, no, maybe Modern Warfare 2, I don't really know, but I know Call of Duty 4 didn't really have, like, um, skip the map or, like, randomize the map, like, in Black Ops, and that's just something really awesome. The Pick 10 system is just gonna change the way the game's played. I can't wait for that, I'm gonna see how that plays out. But, um, what else, like, some things, it's just, I think they're gonna add too many things to it one day, like the, like, couple Call of Duties into the future, and people are just gonna be like, this isn't Call of Duty, this is, this is something else. And they're gonna move on to a different kind of game. Uh, but probably, that's not probably gonna happen for a long time, because Call of Duty just has such a big fan base because of all the advertising they do, and it's just a popular thing right now. So, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just how it is, you know? And I feel that games other than Call of Duty are a lot more fun than Call of Duty. Especially, like I said, this game. So I'm going to be playing this game a lot. Now keep in mind, if you are looking to get uh, to get this game and you want to play this game, I would be happy to play this game. This is on Xbox, by the way, guys. Um, and if you'd like to come play this game with me, if you want to go get it in store since it's so cheap, it's only like $10. Make sure to get 800 Microsoft points too, because for this game you need an online pass that if you don't get the game brand new, it comes with an online pass if you get it brand new, but if you don't, then uh, you have to pay 800 Microsoft points to play online. I mean, I guess that is kind of a drag on you, but it's I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. You wouldn't be disappointed in this game. So, uh, Africa has been kind of spamming me to get into his party for a while, I think. So, I was just killed by a mortar strike too. And that's that's pretty much it, guys. That's what I want to talk to you guys about, and that's games other than Call of Duty. Let me know in the comments on your opinions on what you think. I mean, this game just is, this game has it all. I mean, I would talk this game up for days on end. I mean, it has great graphics. It has an amazing play style. The guns are great. It's realistic. It's not gonna make you rage. I mean, I can go on forever about this game. So uh, that's that's my uh, that's my point of view, guys. I hope you guys, I don't, I hope I didn't make, uh, you guys mad, like, oh, Call of Duty's the best, you suck, get out of here, kill yourself, but, like, hey, I mean, it, it's everyone's opinion, it could be your opinion that Call of Duty's the best game ever, personally, I like this game, so, let me guys know what you think, and if you guys would like to see this game, if not, hey, that's cool too, let me know, and I will still continue to post Call of Duty, that's it, guys, we won, I'll see you guys in my next gameplays and commentaries, peace.